so excited. Um, we have here with me um, an exciting genius. Uh, um, I've seen him talk on stage before and I was just blown away. A nine-year-old doing things that adults at, uh, at my age couldn't even imagine. So I have the privilege of having him here today and we're just going to have, uh, have him and ask him all the questions that we need to ask him. So this is really going to be exciting for me. So let's meet you. My name is Joshua Agbola. Okay. So uh, I've been going through your profile and, and I saw um, you have you have spoken at Ice Ice Tell. Yes. You're a programmer. Mm -hmm. You are a tech enthusiast. Yeah. You're a coder. Future skills activist. Wow. Wow. Oh, okay. What's so fascinating about technology? Why do you love technology so much? Technology is amazing. It's it's the field where jobs are going to be taken. Jobs are going to are, are going to come. And a lot of amazing things, things happen like robots. I, I love seeing robots. I go on, I go online, check for it. It's so amazing. Mm. It, it, just, it picks up things. It, it watches the house. So it's, technology is amazing. Technology is a revolution of ideas, for ideas of ideas. Oh, what was it like starting at six years old? Uh, I mean, I read that I was like six years old. Hello. Yep, it's, it, it was like, it, some people didn't, didn't really, really allow me to do it, but my dad had to take the passion and, mm. and, and tell them, hey, this guy is smart. Let, let him, let him, he, 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 can, he can survive in this environment. Mm -hmm. So they, they had to set a curriculum for me. And if, in fact, I did it extremely well. <clears throat> I did it. And, and I was like the head and I was, I was excelling and they were like, what? <laughs> I can imagine. Yeah. Oh, 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 what, what first program were you able to do? What was the first program you were able to do? I started with Scratch. Okay. Then I, then like one year after when I went to study at co-creation up, mm -hmm. just me basic HTML. Oh. When you go to school and they're looking at you like, oh, look at, he's coming again. That guy who knows just about everything in, in technology. How does it feel? Being smart gives people jealousy against you. When be, being smart, this, this guy, people, people, People will try to make to try to make fun of you. Like, let me let me release my secret. I get extremely emotional every time. Extremely emotional. Mm. So I, I, I don't I, I, I can't really the way somebody says, Oh, you boy this boy brags and I don't brag. I haven't there went any one of my friends like this. He abused me, then he threw me on the floor. It wasn't comfortable for me, but I, 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 love, I love talking a lot. I love talking a lot. I have, to, I have to change his mind. But being smart also gives you opportunities too. Okay. Like, if, if I didn't have this brain right here, yeah. what would I have said on that day I spoke? Yeah. I would have said, blah, 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 blah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what to say. Okay. So I think software engineering. Software engineering. Mm. Okay. So what do you want to see yourself there? Isn't that true? But actually, I'm, I'm learning them. I, I want to study in Harvard. I, I'm looking forward to study, studying in either Harvard, MIT. Okay. And everybody guess I've got, I'll get there. Very good skills. Very, very good skills. Yeah, Ivy League school. Okay. At least if, if I don't go to MIT or Harvard, mm. I'll, I'll, I'll go to San Diego. University of San Diego, University of Duke. Oh, okay. I, want to, I want to go to a nice league okay. university. Do you ever feel pressure? I mean, I mean, other kids are out there, you know, playing, and then here you are, you just have to finish up this program. You told me you have some programs that you're doing. Yes. And all that. Do you ever feel that, like, you're missing something and other kids are out there playing and having fun? I feel, I feel that, but I don't let that cover me. I like. Joshua, you have to be hard working. What I'm doing is it's not a normal thing above all children and I have to I have to push something like I didn't go to school throughout third time. Because I had to go <coughs> to speak at tech point. Yeah. I had to do some other works. 
and that's when I made my personal website. This, I made this this year. And I'm still working on I'm changing some things and I'm making it I'm making the website good. Oh, okay. So what do you do when you're not coding, when you're not programming, when you're not being a tech enthusiast? What exactly what else do you do? Do you do you go out, do you play, do you what what do you do? Sometimes when I don't code I I might, be, I might be told to read a coding book, like this book called um, At First Web Apps. Mm. It, there's one quote I found in that book, and it changed my life totally, 100%. That quote enabled me to make the talk bot I'm still working on right now. Mm -hmm. and, my, and my dream is the talk bot can reduce suicide. For many children, because he talks in a friendly way. If there's the same a, a, a problem that you see in a society today, and you want to use technology to solve it, what would that problem be, and how will you solve it using technology? Like I'm working on an healthcare app, which is going to solve millions and millions of problems of sick people in the environment. I will let out. Um, I had a dream that I would sell it to hospitals and they would pay me for the people they help with that app. And this app is going, it's just like diseases. When you ask somebody like diseases, the, the, the doctor doesn't have to, to talk much, or the pharmacist doesn't have to talk much. You write a disease, it tells you the drugs. You tell the, the doctor that this is what they told me to, to get, um, uh, it doesn't get past them all. And told me to do this to, to to take it twice a day, twice a day. Okay, so it's basically an app that uh, sort of uh, diagnoses you and also recommends yes. drugs for you. Yes. Okay. By that way, you've removed the doctors. Because it's going to take away jobs. It's going to bring back new jobs. Oh, okay. Okay. Because if I if I take that job away, another job will come. Because that's why. Neurosurgeon just can't go that that way because neurosurgeon is, it, it needs a lot of mental work. Mm. Or maybe in the near, 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 very future, mm. we're able to be able to think so well, you're able to see the, the surgical operation, they're able to help the surgical operation. Like this, this idea has been used differently, but I want to use it to change my country, Nigeria. Okay, okay, so basically just help people to get a lot better and have better medication. Yes, and, and this is going to be, this is not going to be fake, it's going to be real. It's going to be sincere messages from doctors. Mm. Okay. That's why, that's why I, I, just, I just want to help my country. My name is Joshua Bola. I'm a chief coder, CEO at Just for Check, and also a future skills activist. And right now, you're watching Business Day Tech Rich. Mm -hmm.